So now we can go crouching, so we're nice and small, we let go, we go back to idle. We can crouch, we're nice and small, we let go, we go back to idle, we can walk to the right, we can walk to the left. Hey guys, welcome back. So what I've got on the screen here is a player character and a ground sprite. The ground sprite has the solid behavior so I can walk on it. The player sprite has the platform behavior and it has three animations. It has an idle animation, which is just a little bobbing animation, a walking animation, which is just a two frame, a very simple walking animation, and a crouch animation, which is the same as the idle animation, but smaller. So with the player sprite selected, I go ahead and add an instance variable. And we're going to call this instance variable state, and we're going to make it a string, which is basically a text value. And we can write anything in an initial value. Um, so let's go ahead and write idle. And this string value on the player here is going to control the animations for us, which makes the animation of the player quite simple and hands off when you're building in multiple different states. Let me explain. Let's go back to the event sheet and let's create an event and say system and say every tick, which basically means at all times in the game. We're going to say player sprite and we want to set that player's animation at any given moment we're going to set it to player which is itself dot the state which we just created and because that state is a variable it can change at any point based on the input that we use and when it changes the system will automatically every tick update the animation on the player so at the moment, nothing's going to happen because we've got no input. So let's add an input. Use the keyboard. If you haven't got the keyboard, you need to go back, double click, and you need to add it here as an input. Once you have the keyboard, go to event and say keyboard. And we're going to say if key is down, and we're going to say A. I'm going to copy and paste that block out and change the A to a D. And now if we're pushing A, we're going to say player. And we're going to, instead of changing the animation, we're going to set value of the state and we're going to set it to walk inside those quotation marks there. Now it's important to write that word exactly as it's written here. Case value, so lowercase, exactly as you put it here. Um, otherwise the system won't recognize what we're doing. Let's copy and paste that out again and set walk the exact same state to D because if we're walking we want the um, the animation to play. So let's go back and hit play and now if we push A and D you can see that if we hold A we walk, if we hold D we walk and if we let go completely we still walk. So what we need to do now is go back in add an event and say keyboard and say is key down and select A again and this time we need to create another event inside this event. So you can click on the left hand side here to highlight the whole block or you can just click on keyboard to highlight the middle bit. Do that, then push C on the keyboard and this will create a condition. Let's go to keyboard and we're going to say is key down and we're going to select the D key. And now this block says if either the A key or the D key is down, we need to change that to say not down. So push I on the keyboard with each one selected and that will invert. So now it says if the A key is not down and the D key is not down, then we want to set our state if we copy and paste that back to idle. So this means that when we let go of A or D, we will stop running or walking and we will go back to the idle state. Now we need to program in the crouch so we can copy this block and paste it and we're going to say if the S key is down, we're going to change the state to crouch and again remember type it in exactly as it's written in the animations now if we push s on the keyboard what you'll see is nothing happens and that's because this block here is blocking that from working because we're saying if these two are not down go to idle but we're not saying s so let's go ahead and copy and paste out add a new condition change that to s and now it says if the A, D and S key are not down, then we go back to idle. So now we can go crouching, so we're nice and small, we let go, we go back to idle. We can crouch, we're nice and small, we let go, we go back to idle, we can walk to the right, we can walk to the left. We can crouch, but we cannot walk when we're crouching, and that's because we don't have a crouch animation uh, assigned to walking. Uh, if you want to know how to crouch walk, I've got another tutorial on that. 
Uh, I'll put it on the screen in just a moment. So if you want to see how that works, go ahead and check that out. If you found the tutorial useful, please feel free to consider leaving a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this and more tutorials, then go ahead and subscribe. If you want access to all of my source code and all of my Patreon game files and a whole bunch of other good stuff, then why not consider becoming a Patreon? And speaking of Patreons, I would like to give a massive thank you and a shout out to Fuzel CC, Olivier Bernier, Amari Lewis, Enmark Games, Tor Hammock Alexanderson, Martin K, 8-Bit Gamer, Davey Wagnerock, John Allegreza, Dan... Matt Nixon, Jordan Lane, Nicholas, Callum Keane, Simon Babano, Draven, Ike Herrera Martinez, and Chris Massinio. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for supporting the game dev journey. And like I said, for more information about what's on offer on the Patreon, there's a link in the description.